Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets project in Practical Sheets. Today, I'm going to do a thing that some of you have asked and I think it could be very interesting. And it is an inventory system that you could easily input or output your items with a QR code. So we have some products here. We're going to create some URLs linking with Google Forms and to create some QRs with the shared service of Google. And then we're going to create these QRs which will let me, I'm going to show you, to have my cell phone scan a QR. For example, let's say I'm going to scan uh, the ukulele. So I'll scan it here. It automatically submits a Google form with the ukulele. And I'm going here to input. And I see here that I have my ukulele inputted. And now, then finally, I create an inventory where I sum how much of these inputs are of each product. And that's it. A very simple system to inventorize products or goods. And then if you want, you could leave it to scan the QRs directly from the screen. Or even further, you could print your QRs and paste it on your product. So it's very easily with your just your cell phone, nothing else, to input products. And you don't have to come to a Google Forms or to a Google Sheets and manually input. So I think this could work not just for inventory, for assistance, for a lot of other things. This is just the first part. We could enhance it with your comments, but first let me know if this works for you. And if it does, and if you like it, you can subscribe to the channel or even further support me in Patreon or very soon in my Practical Sheets webpage where you'll find courses. And in both of them, you'll find the templates. So you don't have to follow this along, but maybe you just want to copy and paste, just copy the file and work from there. But I cannot start without thanking my patron. Thank you so much. I have several people that are following me and that help me that support the creation of these videos. So I want to thank you a thousand times. I really, really appreciate it. Now we can continue with the video. So let's begin. The thing you need to understand about QR codes is that they're most useful in our context to go to a URL. So you take the picture and it automatically goes to a URL. You, you have seen this in your menus, in the restaurants, in events, in concerts that you click and then it goes to a web page. Okay, so this is the main thing we need to know. When you click on a QR, it goes to a web page. So two things we need to solve. The first one, how do we create a QR that goes to a web page? We're going to do that in a moment, but the other one is which web page we need. So if you know about a lot about HTML and parameters and sending forms, you know that if we could create a personalized or a custom URL that may connect with our sheets, this would be perfect. So for this, we would need to know advanced HTML to do this. So this is a, a way I've seen videos doing this. So this is a form and we could do this in the future. The second way is to take advantage of Google Forms because Google Forms is already a program that sends an HTML response and sends a URL that has some parameters and I can control these parameters. So if we use Google Forms in the right way, we could give our QR the URL from Google Forms, from the response or from the form of, of Google Forms and connect this to our system. So we're going to go this step by step like I like doing it. So the first thing we're going to do is to paste some products. Let's say I'm a luthier and I'm going to sell some string instruments. Okay, these six instruments. I'm going to create a Google Forms that connects to these Google Sheets. Let's do it all in the same system. It's easier this way. Tools, create a new form. We're going to call this form inventory input. Let's say we're going to use initially our QR to easily, with a picture, include products to our warehouse. Okay, but we could also use it to get out or this also works for a lot of other cases and other systems. This is just an example that you could then customize to any of your, for example, for assistance, for teachers. I've seen a lot of videos that do this for easily control the assistance of students to a class or to a school. Okay, so let's do, let's hit enter and our question will be product to input. And let's paste the same product we're going to paste it in a second video. We could do this in a more uh, automatic way. Let's say that once we change the products here, it 
uh, updates actually I have a video that I do it in the channel so I could leave you the description if you want but for now let's do it manually is easier for now okay so I have my form let's see it and this could be a, a nice first QR that links here in this first example I could use the same QR for all the products so I don't have to have print a lot I just paste in my warehouse or in my apartment or in the locker or wherever I have my stock I paste there just one QR very easy the only thing is I need to do additional steps because this QR is going to take me to this form and then I need to select which is the product but it's a nice first step so I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to say URL to input let's paste it here and it will be the same URL for all products now I need to create my QR if I leave it like this what I could do very easily is to hit here two times and it will go here and then I will say okay uh, I want to input an electric guitar submit and here you can see that when I created the form it created automatically a new sheet called form responses but I could rename this input and here I can see that I entered an electric guitar now we could save one step and we're going to create the QR in order to create the QR we're going to do an intermediate step we're going to create another URL is the URL that will create the QR so we have two URLs the URL where I'm going to go once I click the QR and the URL that will generate the QR why I'm sure there are more ways of creating QR but Google has a service a URL that helped me create QR very easily so I'm going to use this service that is a URL in order to generate my QR okay so I'm going to paste the code and it will be this chart google apis.com slash chart I'm going to put it inside quotation marks equal sign quotation marks and I close my quotation marks and I'm going to tell you why later but this is the URL that that I'm not finished building yet and the last step will be to create this as a U as a QR so I say image and I'm going to create an image with this URL right now it's not creating me any image because I haven't given the parameters for this specific QR so the parameters I need are basically three the first one is the size of my QR CHS the size of the chart remember that this service chart creates a lot of different charts the chart I'm going to create right now is a QR so later I have to tell the service that is a QR what I'm asking for so the size let's start with the size it's going to be 150 times 150 but you could customize it whatever you want then for the second argument we're going to put an ampersand to separate arguments the second argument will be the type CHT equals QR and the third argument will be CHL that I imagine is linked to where I'm going to and the link will be this thing here so I'm going to after my quotation marks put ampersand and join with this other URL and now I have a QR that is working let's I'm going to make it a bit bigger my sheet so you can see it better let's maybe center it horizontally and vertically and I'm going to go to my cell phone and I'm going to go to the QR open it and you can see that now I have my inventory and I could say that a ukulele and submit and that's it okay and if we go here to input I inserted my ukulele so this is the first way to do it and we will just drag down all of this but remember it will be the same QR for all the products because I need to choose the product so this is an easy way a first way of inserting I'm going to change this let's call this product list of products now I can go one step further first I'm going to fix this a bit align vertically and maybe if you want we could wrap this text and maybe put it a bit smaller and I'm going to call this a QR URL and this is QR to print 
Okay, perfect. A second step we could do is to include each of these products in a QR. So now I won't have one QR. Remember that these all these QRs are the same in this in this moment, but we could have a specific QR making this similar to a barcode so that each product will have its specific QR. Okay. So for this, we're going to use a feature in Google Forms that is called predefined or pre-filled links. So I'm going to go here, get pre-filled link in my form, and I'm going to choose anything, maybe acoustic guitar. I'm going to get the link. It copied the link. I'm going to copy it here. Sorry, I had to click in copy. I'm going to paste it here for now. And let's wrap it also so we can see it. So you can see, I'm going to compare the two URLs, the URL of the form itself and the URL with a specific product already cho chosen. So if you see docs.google.com.forms slash D slash E one F A, all of this is the same because it's the ID of the form up until A, then I have a slash view form and the, the new things are all these USB equal PP URL and entry and all of that. So I'm going to add this part, all of this part here. This is the part I'm missing. Okay. Okay. So now I pasted it and let's see if this is going to work the QR. So I'm going again to my camera and opening Chrome. And you can see that this is not working. It's going to the same form that I have to choose. So I'm missing one thing. So what is missing is that I need to wrap this B2 inside an encode URL function. Okay. Because sometimes this plus sign and other things are not processed well by the QR URL. So it's important for you to wrap everything in an encode URL. Okay. Now let's do it again. Let's go here, opening Chrome. And now it's pointing to my acoustic guitar. So the only thing I need to do is to hit send, submit my acoustic guitar. Let's see if it's working. I go to input and we just inputted an acoustic guitar. Okay. But the, what I want is that when I drag this down, this is acoustic guitar. This would be electric guitar. This would be ukulele so that it generates a different pre-filled URL for each product. This is the idea of all this. If not, I will leave it like it was. So how do I do this? I'm going to change the acoustic guitar. I'm going to enclose all this in an quotation mark, then another quotation mark, then ampersand, and then I'm going to put this acoustic guitar. But do you remember that the acoustic guitar here was with a plus, but let's see here. So let's see if this would work like it is, or if I need to add the plus sign, let's see. So let's go again to see if it continues working. And apparently it continues to work. So I don't need to change anything else. I didn't need to put the plus sign. This encode URL helps me with not having to do that. So now I could drag this down. And you can see that I have here acoustic guitar, electric guitar, ukulele, bass, mandolin, and banjo. Okay. So now in theory, if I drag this down, this should work. I don't know why this is not working. Ah, because I, I didn't drag this, the encode URL. Very important, the encode URL. Okay. Perfect. So now let's do another test with uh, a ukulele. Let's see here, ukulele. This is the ukulele. I, I chose electric guitar, but it's working. Let's submit and then choose another one. Let's choose banjo. Okay. And here is banjo and I submit. Okay. So this is looking very good, but there's just one step left. I could, I could delete this. The step I'm missing is that here in my URL, I could skip the submit part. So to skip this step, I'm going to remove 
this view form and I'm going to change for the word form response. And I can delete this USB. Let's hit enter. And let's see what does it do. Actually, this encode URL, I could place it in here. Or I could leave it in both, doesn't matter. Just so that I could test this link. If I go here, what I see is that, for example, this was acoustic guitar. I just clicked it and without doing anything else, let's go to input and I entered an acoustic guitar. So I skipped the step that I have to choose it. Knowing that I already chosen something in my response here, I've already did a pre-fill with just one answer and this answer is already filled with acoustic guitar. When I hit click and I change this view form with this form response, what it's automatically doing is sending a response without having to choose. So I'm skipping this step, okay? So let's try it again with bass guitar. So I'm just going to click one time and without having to do anything, I'm submitting my bass guitar. Let's go to my input and I can see it here. So now, the QR should be updated here and let's try it again. So let's do a mandolin and it says your response has been recorded. And if I go to input, my mandolin is already there. Okay, so I think it's perfect. Now we have our inputs and we could just do a very simple stock here, inventory, where I'm going to say here product and I'm going to do a unique function of this product that are the ones that I've input. Input B2 up to B so that it takes all of my rows. These are the products I've inputted at least one time. And now I'm going to count how many of each are there. So quantity in stock, it would be just counting where I'm going to count in this range, how many of these electric guitars are there. I could do an auto fill. That's it. Let's put ball here and I have it. So very simple. And if you want to do the output, it will be very similar. There are many ways of doing the output. We can do another form and a different form. So th this would be the inventory input and the other will be the inventory output and we'll do the same steps and the QR to print. This will be QR input. The other one will be QR, QR output. So this is a, an option. The second option is that in this same inventory input, I could put another question that is if I'm going to do the input or I'm going to do the output. And then I have the two options again that I could go here with already the, the product chosen and I need to choose if it's input or output or much easier. I could have two QRs, the one that is choosing the input question and the one that is using the output question. Okay, so I think this merits a part two, but first I'm going to see if you like it. And if so, we can do a part two where we include the output also, and we do some formatting here, and maybe we drag down the formulas with an array formula or a lambda or a map function. We could go further, but I think this could give you a lot of ideas so it will make it easier for you to print to um, input or output your inventory. So the, the next step you need to do is maybe you could have another sheet that is called QRs to print, where it's we could organize all of these acoustic guitar, electric guitar, uh, so that are uh, much more formatted to print. So you can print them and paste it in your products. So it's just taking the picture, not to your computer screen, but you're going to take the picture directly to your product where you pasted the QR. Okay. A lot of possibilities has this project. I hope some of you find it useful. And if so, please let me know. See you next time. Thank you so much.